With YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider becoming a patron today for just a dollar per month. Link below. Let's talk about let's talk about the the, the the image that I had on the thumbnail here. Transformer Seven pulled from Paramount schedule. This one it was kind of shocking to me because Paramount pretty much they, they really rely on these these Transformers movies, and uh, I, I'm actually surprised it's happening. So it says here, Paramount has pulled the seventh Transformers movie from its 2019 schedule. The film set for release on June 28th, 2019. The studio will open the spinoff Bumblebee on December 21st. Uh, Michael Bay did direct the first five movies and Travis Knight, who uh, did uh, works at Leica Studios. Actually, he co-founded Leica Studios in uh, outside of Portland, Oregon, uh, also directed Kubo and the Two Strings, will be directing Bum or well, did helm Bumblebee. Uh, the studio will uh, release uh, Tiffany Haddish's comedy Limited Partners on that date. Paramount is said is I, replacing Transformers with a Tiffany Haddish comedy. I okay, uh, neither one I want to see. Um, Paramount set up the project last fall with writer Sam Pickman and Adam Kokeli. Uh, okay, so all right, and nothing else really here about Transformers. It's just that they changed it. But let's take a look at maybe as to why this happened. Let's just take a quick look as to why. So looking over here in Box Office Mojo, we, we get to see the Transformers franchise and what it's earned. Starting here with Transformers 1 in 2007, uh, uh, July 3rd, 2007, it uh, it grossed $319 million, right? Just domestic, right? Um, you know, 425, or if you just, well, okay, let's just go, we're just going to go total grosses here. So $319 million. Uh, for that one. And then Transformers Dark of the Moon, which came out two years later, was $352 million. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen was 402. I mean, and this is the thing too, is Transformers Dark of the Moon was 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 panned by critics and fans because it was made, rushly made during the writer strike in order to meet that uh, June, uh, that June 29th release date. And then, of course, uh, Revenge of the Fallen, you figure, uh, was arguably a much better movie, in my opinion, than, uh, than, than the sequel before that. But then you look at uh, the the Age of Extinction, which came out in 2014. So it came out five, you know, or three years later, only 245 million. And then Transformers The Last Night, uh, it was only 130 million. Now, Transformers The Last Night, in my opinion, suffered from a big problem that last summer had, which is, and as I feel, as I kind of explained at the beginning of this episode, where I feel like most summers or most summer movies had the problem here is that you have so much jam packed in that it just becomes, uh, the money only goes to like one or two or three or four movies and Transformers was just not the one to get it. Um, but that being said, uh, the movies have also gone down in quality. Age of, I mean, Michael, Michael Bay, you can tell, didn't care about Age of Extinction or, or The Last Night. From, I, and I never finished watching Age of Extinction. I watched about half the movie and that was enough and I haven't watched The Last Night yet. But uh, Age of Extinction substituted uh, any kind of cohesive plot for explosions that were like, they were big and they were practical, right? They were practical explosions. But uh, the thing was, is nothing blew up. They were just fireballs going off in the air. That was it. Nothing actually was destroyed. So, so any kind of, uh, you know, any, any kind of realism there, so to speak, or any kind of connection to that type of on-screen destruction was gone. And you could tell Michael Bay was just somewhat phoning it in. Never mind the fact Transformium as the element that trans that, that, that connects to trans i don't know just the writer people people give fast and furious crap for having like the, the way it's written but yet they kind of like they don't give transformers the same crap and then uh the last night just came across as whatever so i was hoping that bumblebee uh i, I still want to see bumblebee because i love the character but i was hoping it was going to kind of be a lead-in for maybe a soft reboot and and that was the whole thing was transformer 7 was supposed to be a soft reboot and and kind of go back and maybe move away from where michael bay took it but these are movies that uh that obviously outlived their 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 usefulness here they outlived their uh, uh their their longevity uh, they should have stopped with revenge of the fallen waited a few years maybe done a couple spin-offs and then maybe done a reboot uh you know or found a way to keep you know bring in beast wars that was a rumor for a while but no and Unfortunately, they didn't because Paramount doesn't Paramount doesn't know how to run a company at this point. They, they they keep losing everything. So I'm not I don't I don't really feel bad for them anymore.